truth about your diet soda. It tastes like crap because it's made from crap. Genetically modified organism feces, to be specific. I'm talking about the synthetic sweetener aspartame. The patent for it is now online for everyone to see how it's actually made. And it's actually made from the poop of GM bacteria. Here's how it's made specifically. Genetically modified E. coli bacteria are cultivated in tanks. They defecate proteins that contain aspartic acid phenylalanine amino acid segments. That feces is collected and then treated through many chemical processes, including methylation, which adds the toxic alcohol methanol to the mix. Presto, aspartame is made. So if you like that unique chemical taste of aspartame and don't mind eating bacteria feces, it means you are free to consume so many foods and not worry about ingesting any calories, God forbid. Aspartame is in your breath mints, cereal, chewing gum, flavored water, ice creams, coffee syrups, juice drinks, power bars, pudding, ketchup, yogurt, vegetable drinks, candy, and pretty much anything that has the word diet in its name. And that includes, of course, Diet Coke. Interestingly enough, Coca-Cola has just spent a lot of money to produce ads telling you how safe aspartame is. In their ad, they say that the safety of aspartame is supported by more than 200 studies over the last 40 years. As sources, they list the Beverage Institute and the International Food Information Council Foundation. Coca-Cola owns the former, and the U.S. government is a partner for the latter. For further information about the safety of aspartame, you can visit aspartame.org, which is owned by the Calorie Control Council, which is an international association that represents the food and beverage industry. In other words, the safety information about this sweetener poop is controlled by those who profit most from it. Hardly unbiased. Meanwhile, there are hundreds of studies which link aspartame to leukemia, lymphoma, other cancers, liver damage, you name it. So if you're trying to decide whether or not you should ingest aspartame, consider using this as a rule of thumb. If it's literally made from chemically altered GMO crap, it might be crappy for your body. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.